Good morning. Let's read us a story about spring today because this week is what Miss Cece will be focusing on, spring and gardening. What part of the book is this? That's right, the front. What part of the book is this? That's right, the spine. And what part of the book is this? That's right, the back. On the front of the book, what do we find? We find the title. And what does the title tell us? The title tells us what the book may be about. Why does a book need a spine? It keeps the pages together. Do you have a spine? What does your spine do? It keeps your bones together. This book is called Four Seasons for Little People and it's written by Dr. Jerry Ballard and his daughter, Kimberly Ballard. The illustrations are made by Lynn Marie Davis. Spring, look at that pretty tree. Look how the tree is blooming. Soon the days become a little longer and the sun a little warmer. It is spring, the season of new life. Look at, uh, look at the red birds. And look at the pretty sun. What color is that sun? Yellow. The warm sun awakens the sleeping seeds and the hiding animals. Where have the animals been? They've been hibernating. Some of them hibernate in the winter. Gentle rains bring the green grass and flowers back to life. Look at those pretty flowers. New leaves spring to life on grand old trees and tender new ones. Oh, they look like they're getting ready to have a picnic. We can have picnics in the spring. Spring is the season for plowing and planting. What is plowing? See that red tractor? What is he doing? He's plowing a garden. Baby birds and bunnies are born. The earth awakens with living things. Look at the baby birds. It's time for playing outside and enjoying fresh, clean air. Feeling the warm sun on our faces. Oh, they got a soccer ball and a kite and a tree swing. We welcome back the singing birds. We celebrate life. That was a good story. What happens in the spring again? The flowers bloom, the birds and the insects come back to life, the trees bloom, and we play outside in the warm sunshine. Okay, let's go over our letter sounds this morning. A, a, alligator. B, b, bear. C, c, cat. D, d, dog. E, a, elephant. F, f, frog. G, g, goat. H, h, horse. I, a, iguana. J, j, jellyfish. K, k, koala. L, L, lion, M, M, monkey, N, N, nest, newt, O, A, ostrich, P, P, penguin, Q, Q, quail, R, R, raccoon, S, squirrel, T, T, turtle, U, A, unicorn, V, V, vulture, W, w walrus, X, X, X ray, Y, y yak, Z, Z, zebra. Which one of these animals do you think we'll see in the spring? Probably a frog. They're chirping in the ponds. Okay, let's go over our shapes. Circle, 
rectangle, rhombus, square, star, hexagon, octagon, oval, triangle, heart. What color is this rhombus? Green. What color is the circle? Pink. What color is the star? Yellow. What color is the triangle? Red. What color is the oval? Orange. Good job. Okay, in our block center today, we're going to build a flower bed. So we get these blocks, and I want you guys to help me and tell me what we need to grow our flowers. Maybe moms or grandmas have flower beds at home, and maybe you can help them. Okay, we built our flower bed. Now what do we need in our flower bed for our flowers to grow? First we put in our dirt. Then we put in our seeds, and then we add water, and then we wait for the sunshine to grow the pretty flowers. Okay, our breathing technique today is going to be the balloon. Do you guys remember doing the balloon? You lock your fingers, hands on top of your head, we inhale to blow up our balloon. Great job. Do you feel relaxed? Those are some things you can do to help relax yourself when you're feeling a little anxious. Okay, this just about concludes our lesson for today. But parents, I want to encourage you to stay safe. I want you to make sure you're practicing social distancing. And I want you to, as a parent activity, I want you to take your child out on a walk in the park. Just let them release a little energy. But remember, practice social distancing. Thank you guys so much. I miss you guys. See you soon.